Let's turn now across the pond. The Princess of Wales says she has finished chemotherapy treatment for cancer and will be returning to work for more. We're joined now by journalist and CTV royal commentator Afia Hagen. Always great to talk with you, Afia. The first thing I guess I'm looking at here is that the message that came with this talked about how hard it was not just for Catherine, but also for the family. And what have you been seeing and feeling across the pond? Absolutely. And I think that's why actually we have the family uh, he featured so heavily in this very, very slick, very well produced video of which we see the Waleses along with Carol and Michael Middleton. Now it's an intimate but very glossy portrait of family life. And in the voiceover, which the Princess of Wales herself does, um, she talks about, you know, the l way that life can change in an instant and having a way to find a way to navigate the stormy waters and the road unknown. She also talks about how the cancer journey is complex, scary and unpredictable for everyone, especially those closest to you. And she goes on to say, this time has above all reminded William and me to reflect and be grateful for the simple yet important things in life, which so many of us often take for granted or simply loving and being loved. She goes on to say, doing what I can to stay cancer free is now my focus. And that's the caveat there in Kensington Palace. Very careful not to say that the princess is cancer free, but she's working towards becoming cancer free. Now, if you just on that video, what do you think of uh, putting something so well put together from the time that the family had in Norfolk over the summer versus what happened, let's say, a couple of months ago during the original announcement of her stepping away from royal duties and the, ho the hoopla that came around having a photo that was doctored? Do you think this was intentional? And hoopla is the word, right? And I definitely think that this, perhaps some might see it as an overcorrection, but I think it is them setting out their stall, trying to wipe the slate clean, rebooting things. Look, this is how we're doing it. Remember, this is our future king and queen. And also remember, videos like this go into the royal archives. They form a part of history. So I think they want to show us, look, this is how we're going to do things from now on. We definitely have made missteps in the past. They have been acknowledged but this is what we're doing from now on. We're giving you a glimpse into family life, giving you sort of lifting the curtain. You can look in the window of what we've been up to, of what we've been doing, but we're giving transparency and um, we're giving acknowledgement of perhaps where we've had missteps and we're letting you in and giving you some of the information. We're actually, the reason why lots of conspiracy theories spawned in the first place is because we had an information vacuum. So they have chosen to take control of the narrative and sort of give us what we want, which is more information about them. Uh, but of course, there is caveats to that as well. We still don't know what type of cancer uh, the, the Princess of Wales was having preventative chemotherapy for. And we you may never know. And actually, that's absolutely fine. Afia, we're going to have to leave it there, but we always appreciate your time. Journalist, CTV Royal commentator, Fia Hagen, joining us once again. Thank you.